You do not want any reproof. You don't want to know anything about the truth. And you always talk against the truth. You always fight against the truth. Blasphemy. Let me read what it said. It said the Bible called this the action of abomination. Having secured self-justification, self-provision, and self-promotion. People that grow to the place where they hate authority. Jesus. Ain't that sad? They hate our God. These are people that just like to be left alone. Let me live my life. Let me do what I want to do. Do not try to tell me how to live my life. Why? Because I'm grown and I do as I please. They hate our thoughts and they don't want no direction. They just live their life like they want to. I know. Other than said here, these are people they man. That, that the Bible talks, it goes all the way back to the book of Romans, and said, ugly said, they become to be haters of God. Now, all don't come to be that, but this is talking about people that lie in this set school, and they stay within this spirit, and don't get in correction, and don't allow God to bring them out of what they are in. But they come to the place that they find to feel that it's okay, and that they justify, and, and, and they don't want nobody to tell them that it's wrong. In their eyes, it's okay because they feel good. It makes them feel good. Amen. It's just like smoking uh, marijuana or uh, uh, doing crack. It makes them feel good when they know it's wrong. Amen. And Amen. they can get to a place that just tone you out because they don't want to hear anything about it because they're going on their feelings. So now they have justified to the place that's okay for them to do it. And right now, at this moment, they're saying, I don't want any correction because I love what I'm doing. Uh -huh. And ultimately, it comes down to be to the place that you become to be haters of God. Amen. You don't want nothing to get in your life so far that whatever you're doing that you know that's wrong, you don't come to the place that you want to hate God. Amen. Because God has already laid down laws to let you know that some things are definitely wrong. Mm -hmm. No matter what you think about it, God already put his name on his step on his saying that it's wrong. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Bless me. And then it said the world reaction towards uh, towards blasphemy is to the place they start laughing about it. Then it said God view is the act of deserving capital punishment. Jesus, Jesus. Now they go back to the book of Romans where we say, even if they did not like to retain God, and they not God took them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. And though they have pleasure in doing it. People know when they're wrong. Don't want no reproof. Mm -hmm. Don't want no correction. Don't want no instruction. But yet still they'll go around and try to make it look all right to folk and tell them it's okay to do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you want to do it, don't put it on nobody else. Amen. 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 And the Bible teaches it can come to the place that they need capital punishment for it. Some of y'all go back and read the Bible in the book of Romans and tell you that. Now let's go back to the book of Timothy when it talk about blasphemy. Next one is what? This or what? Convenient. And you ever live so much in a time now that see the truth. It seems as though they're so undisciplined. Now the reason why some are so undisciplined is because parents don't take the time now to teach their children what's right and wrong. They learn more from the TV than they do their own parents. Amen. Or either they learn more from other people than they do their own parents. It's the parents' responsibility to sit down and teach their children the things that's right and wrong. Letting them know this is not good. You should try to do this or you try to do that. This is the way you should do it. In other words, discipline your children. Mm -hmm. Train up a child the way they should go. And when they get old, they won't depart from it. That means do your best as a parent in teaching your children. When they get older, amen, they will think about things that relate back to what their parents had taught them and got them about God. Amen. It can be to the place that it will save their life. Amen. 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 But we're living in a hard time. Children are so disobedient. Yeah. Sometimes you ask your own self, if being a parent, what have I gone wrong? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sometimes you can teach all you can. It's not your fault. But because of the presence of sin, sin itself, we're all born in sin. You can't get around, you can't get away from it. 
And now the children come to the place where they're, even what you taught them, they grow, they grow up to accountability where they can think for themselves, choose for themselves what they want to do because they're going by their feelings and, and they're choosing right and wrong in what they want to do. Amen. Even amen. though they've been taught what's right. Mm -hmm. amen. 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 And they become, amen, to be rebelled, be disobedient, and they go after the appetite of sin. Amen. Amen. Because some folks look at it. Uh, your dad is a preacher. What you doing doing that? Your mama is a preacher too. Why are you doing this? Oh, you can't look at it like that. Amen. That's right. Your, my child, your child, and everybody else's child is born in sin just like everybody Amen. else. Amen. It does not mean that you neglect to teach them or, or talk them the word of God. Amen. But because of sin being in their lives, then they come to the place to realize that they are fighting to nature and they realize that they need help. That's why it comes good and important as a parent that you teach them, amen, the right thing. So when it comes to the place, amen, that they need help, they'll know how to choose between right and wrong and try to do the right thing. Amen. amen. I'm going to try to take this. And then it say, I'm thankful. Hey, you ever, let, 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 let me just use for an example. I went, I went I, I fishing yesterday and I caught a whole bunch of fish. Called my brother. I said, Tim, I said, you want me to fish? He said, oh man, bring them on around. So, <laughs> yes, sir. So when we got there, my brother tried to do the right thing. Amen. That's one young man. So you want some of these fish? He looked at them and said, oh, they big, ain't they? He said, well, man, I'll tell you the truth, man. You know, I just ain't to the place that I want to clean no fish. And, uh, and you're giving it away free. Mm -hmm. You know. But well, they want you to give it to them, clean it for them, cut their head off and everything. Mm -hmm. They don't want to do nothing. Unthankful. Mm -hmm. Unthankful. Mm -hmm. But thank God the next door neighbor, the young lady, uh, Tim, had, she wanted something. He thinks she was thankful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But these days, these lazy ass folks, you can't give them that. Be okay. so, so, so unthankful. So, you yeah. got to do everything for them. Mm -hmm. Unthankful. Mm -hmm. Ain't that sad? Yeah. I tell you, unthankful. Then it said, what's the next one? Unholy. Unholy. Well, now, we just talking about the principle of the Bible because you got so many people that love the professors who know who Christ Jesus is, saying that they are Christian, saying that they love the Lord, they may say that they know who God is, but they do not present him a life in knowing who Christ is. They do not have the lifestyle of a child of God. They unholy. They will not live holy. The Bible said that the devil believed that there is a God, mm -hmm. but he trembled at his name. Amen. For the simple fact, he cannot live holy, and he will not live holy. Mm -hmm. And some people have taught, and they brought that same uh, uh, concept right in the church. Mm -hmm. uh, no of God, mm -hmm. but not saved. Amen. Because they don't live a life of God. As I always say, when you come to know who he is, you're going to change and you're going to start living yeah. a life for God. Amen. But the assumptions come in when people say that they know God and know of him and still come to church and try to act like they know who God is. You don't know him until God touch you enough to change your life, yes. give you a mind to want to do the right thing, and you strive to do what's right. That's when you know you got it. Amen. Amen. So therefore, as me teaching the word of God and trying to tell you right and wrong, I first need to live holy. holy. For the word of God said, it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. That's what it said in the book of Peter. Amen. So we should have a lifestyle to live for the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm just going to teach you what the word said here now. Then it said, without what? Natural affection. Natural affection. Stay that something. God, most people out there, they don't know what's right no more. Amen. I, I don't see nothing wrong with it. Why, why, why are you always condemning folks? You ain't nothing coming out of your mouth. Uh, ain't even trying to, something is wrong. That's right. I ain't going to know that right now, but I'm just thinking something is just wrong. Amen. Amen. And you don't even have to try to explain it. You know when something ain't Amen. right. Amen. 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 Without natural, and it's not when you leave. And, and it's sad when, when a woman don't look good to you when you go mad. Jesus, come Ain't on. Ain't that bad? Come on. Ain't that sad? It's sad when a woman is a woman and a man don't look good to her. Mm. Mm. 
and they leave from him and start looking at octopus and start looking at a woman like their woman. Mm. And start designing, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. in a lustful way. Amen. As being with a man. Mm -hmm. It's saying without the natural life. In other words, you ain't got no control about yourself. Knowing how to keep yourself as though you ain't been different, you ain't been taught nothing. You don't know what's right and wrong. Without natural affection. Uh, what's, what's the next one? Lord have mercy. Some people can't even live in your house. Amen. I don't care how much you try to teach some folks and tell folks the right things, they can never comprehend it and come back and tell it like you told. Amen. They all add something to it mm -hmm. or they take something out. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. And you got some folks right there. Mm -hmm. And it hurts you. Then it said false what? Uh, they go along the line and they don't even know what the person does. Yeah. Still standing in somebody's corner. Yeah, I know that's right. You don't know nothing right. You won't there, you didn't see it, and you don't even try to bear witness to it. Come on, come on. Amen. People that have you locked up in law folks in prison because they didn't do it. Right? Mm -hmm. But somebody said they did. Mm -hmm. Somebody lied. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna take my time. I didn't, didn't. Now this is the one that gets me right here. What's the next one? Yeah. Amen. I had to look at. I said, Lord, please help me with this here. He said, these are people that without self-control don't have no control. I don't care how much you try to tell them what's right, it seems as though they just won't fight to do the right thing. Now, in, in, in contention, and in other words, that, that, when you look it up on your phone, so you'll find out they said, it's like a person that wears the be. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. can't help themselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, you see what I'm saying? No matter how much they they fight not to do, they got to do it. Yeah. And folks are like that in the church. Act like they don't have no, no, no restraint, no help, no form of fashion. And they justify what they do and, and, and try to make you think it's okay for them to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, my God, I said, that's powerful. He said, these are folks that are addicted to life pleasure. They love the, the, the style of the world, and they love just giving themselves to the world and, and acting like they can't help themselves. These are folk that will try anything. These are folk that will try to do anything and, and, and try to win over people by, by trying to prove something. Mm -hmm. They love the world. They have no control about themselves. Then the next one is said, being undisciplined. They haven't been taught. Some folks just ain't been taught what's right and wrong. And they just wide open and do what they want to do. It seems as though they have no discipline down the line at all. And it's sad now to leave children, amen, alone, and they have no type of discipline. Amen. amen. They grow up 12, 13, 14 years old, having babies and stuff, get with their parents and go out with their parents and call both of them and still young and both of them in the club together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't have no respect for one another. The children won't call the daddy the daddy. They won't call the mother the mother. They call them by first name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Talk right. Amen. And you'll never, you never should let a child say, look, my name is this. You know what I told my daughter? I said, don't you never call me right. I said, you know my name is right. I said, I'm more than right to you. Amen. I said, Amen. I'm your father. I'm your daddy. Amen. She got it. She know what you said. I said, don't you call your mom Ernestine. I said, you know her name is Ernestine. I said, well, when you see it, you better say mother. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You got to teach it to them. Amen. But now, hey, Maggie, that's your mama. You were talking to her like she's some child. Mm -hmm. She's your sister and all that kind of stuff. Children lost respect. If you don't teach them now, they're going to call you anything. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. A mother ain't never a sister to their daughter. No, you got to teach your children. If you don't, they're, they're disrespecting yes, anyone. They will. Yes, they will. Amen. Well, man. I'm still on the incontinence. Mm -hmm. yeah, amen. But see, that's, that, 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 they just don't have no control. And, and this Bible and this chapter is going to teach you how to handle these folks and what you should do. There's nothing that the Word of God ain't telling us about that we should know about because we need to know what these things mean. 
Amen. And that actually had to get to that point where they were saying, these are people that just out here don't have no control. I, I, I'm trying to live holy, but I just can't live holy. No, I, 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 ain't the Lord going to let me go to heaven? No, the Lord ain't going to let you go to heaven like that because you still in your sin. The Lord said no sin going to have a part in heaven. You got to stop your sin. He that sin, the Bible says he's up the devil. You got to stop your sin. You got to, that's why God, that's why Jesus came to give you power not to sin. Amen. That's why Jesus came to let you know that you don't have to sin. Now you can come in and you can get control over the nature of sin that's making you do what you're doing. Amen. That is some power of control. Yes, yes it is. Amen. And that's Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to take my then it says fears. Let's move on. Despise of what? Those that are good. What do you folks say? Primarily talking about they were in the church. In church. You got folks sitting up in church shouting with you, speaking in tongues, and can't stand your good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, that folks call they won't live holy. You live in holy. And they main, I hate to say it, they main uh, purpose is to break you up and stop you from living holy, make you back to life, or uh, either make you get religious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you don't constrain yourself through the Holy Ghost and let God give you strength to stop doing what you're doing, you'll mess around and fall from your stuff at it. Mess with dirty folks. Amen. And these folks are presumptuous. They come back to church and do these things. Now, I understand that the Word of God said that the weak and tear and grow together. And the only reason he said it because they can stay in church and those that want to get right can get right. But in the meantime, those that are strong ought to stand strong. Amen. Amen. Or the strong ought to bad infirmities of the weak. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Somebody got to stay strong. You just can't let in and everything come in and make you fall from your stuff. Yeah, that's Amen. right. I don't care what you see with your eyes, what they do. If they ain't up the court like they ought to, keep living home. Amen. Just make sure you don't come down. Yes, that's right, man. Yes. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Despise of those that are good. Amen. The next one said traitors. Amen. Mm -hmm. We all know what a traitor is. Yeah. Some folks call them what an enemy is. Mm -hmm. Folks you thought were with you ain't with you no more. And I tell you like this is, you'll find out what folks' heart says. I don't care how much folks say they love you, or I do this for you, but in the long run, you'll find out where you're at. Amen. Amen. You started out with me, you used to love me, now you don't love me no more. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, now he ain't got nothing to do with you. You used to go do this for me, do that. Now you won't do What happened? Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. Where's the genuine love? If God sent you here, you're supposed to love through everything that you go through. Yes. Through your trials and your tribulation, you're still supposed to walk up right and try to do the right thing. Amen. Let love, that permanent love, be amongst one another, or each other. Mm -hmm. Don't let it get cold, but continue to love one another. Amen. Well, man, heaven. Well, it's just like a proud spirit, anyway. Mm -hmm. How about it? My Lord. I can't stand her. Look what she drives. Driving a little <laughs> car. See, they think this up, girl. They think that's what the house they live in, mm -hmm. clothes they wear. Oh, they just high minded. Think too good of themselves, not to have anything to do with you and stuff. Be high minded thinking, folks. You start exalting yourself. I'm better than her. And her I, I, I just can't stoop to her level. Amen. Amen. Uh, then, it, then it said, love of the what? Pleasures. Now that goes right back up to the consensus. These folks can't control themselves. They they love pleasure. They love the world. They love, they, they think about the imaginary thing. Mm -hmm. Things that people shouldn't even do. The ungodly thing. They doing them. Mm -hmm. And now they're doing so much now where they have disrespect folks in any form of fashion. Yeah, man. You know how hosting the team used to be a long time ago? Mm -hmm. Some things they wouldn't show, mm -hmm. but now they're showing what? Everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, there ain't just no HBO that's on channel 9, 5, 12, it was a channel that we couldn't get. Amen. It's on every channel now. Amen. 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 And it's sad. And you're going to have to have the Holy Ghost. The control you to keep because you tempted every day. Amen. Every day you're going to be tempted. That's why you need the baptism of the Holy Ghost that can go through here to constrain you, to keep you from doing these things. Why? Because we are living in perilous times. <coughs> On every hand, you are being tempted. 
Some folk will never tell you, my God, what action took them off, what action messed with them in their mind, what action caused them to trip. Amen. 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 Because they come to be shame of something they, they think about, something they imagine. Uh, nobody is going through this with me. Ah, uh, you ain't the only one. But God still gives us control through His Son Jesus. Amen. Pledges are, 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 are what? And they're showing. They're showing you this flip. I always tell y'all this with this right here. One of the greatest factors. Uh, the actual offended God is this is when man feel God became to be disobedient and being rebellious. And what did God tell his son? Let us go down and put a famous sword between what now? Between the time that you because that man can't go there because he lives just like we live forever. Not as good as evil. Because man had become like what? God. Us. G O D S. Not the capital G. Mm -hmm. Now you think for yourself. I'm just saying that because anytime somebody wants to stop serving the Lord, they can stop just like that and do what they want to do. And then 